For more than half a century, the world of commercial aviation has been shaped and defined by two towering giants, Boeing and Airbus. These companies have not only built the planes that carry millions of people across continents every day, but they have also set the standards for safety, innovation, and efficiency in the skies. Their rivalry is legendary, with each new aircraft launch sparking global headlines and fierce competition for airline contracts. Step onto almost any modern jetliner, whether you're flying across the country or halfway around the world, and chances are you'll find yourself aboard a Boeing or an Airbus. Their aircraft have become the backbone of global travel, trusted by airlines and passengers alike for their reliability and comfort. This dominance didn't happen overnight, it's the result of decades of relentless engineering, vast global supply chains that stretch across continents, and deep long-standing relationships with airlines and governments. Together, Boeing and Airbus have created a duopoly that seems almost unbreakable. For any newcomer, breaking into this exclusive club is a monumental challenge. It demands billions in investment, years, sometimes decades of research and development, and the ability to navigate a maze of international regulations and safety standards. Even the smallest misstep can mean failure. Over the years, a handful of nations have made ambitious attempts to enter the market, launching their own jet programs with hopes of competing on the world stage. Yet despite their efforts, none have managed to truly threaten the reign of Boeing and Airbus in the lucrative large, single-aisle jet segment. For a long time, the idea of a third major player seemed like a distant dream, almost impossible. But then, China, with its vast resources and determination, decided to enter the race, unveiling a new contender that would soon capture the world's attention. Suddenly, the established order was shaken. The arrival of a new challenger from the east signaled a dramatic shift, raising questions about the future of the industry and whether the duopoly could withstand this bold new competition. The skies, once ruled by two unchallenged kings, were about to become a battleground for innovation, ambition, and global influence. The world was watching, and the future of flight was about to get a lot more interesting. Enter the C919, China's ambitious leap into the fiercely competitive world of commercial aviation. For decades, the skies have been dominated by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. Their single-aisle workhorses, the 737 and A320, have carried billions of passengers and shaped the global travel industry. But now, a new contender is rolling onto the runway, determined to challenge the status quo and rewrite the rules of the game. The C919 is China's bold answer to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, designed to compete head-to-head -head with these Western icons. It's not just another airplane, it's a statement of intent, a declaration that China is ready to play on the world stage. Built by Comac, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, the C919 represents more than cutting-edge engineering. It's a symbol of national pride and a testament to China's determination to become a leader in high-tech manufacturing. Every rivet and panel reflects years of research, investment, and the dreams of a nation eager to soar. While the C919's airframe is designed and assembled in China, its heart and nervous system, its engines, avionics, and many critical systems, are sourced from some of the world's top Western suppliers. Companies like CFM International, Honeywell, and others provide the advanced technology that powers this jet. This global approach allowed China to leapfrog decades of development, integrating proven, reliable technology into its new aircraft. By partnering with established industry leaders, Comac could focus on mastering assembly and design, while ensuring the C919 met international safety and performance standards. The result is a modern jet, assembled in the bustling city of Shanghai, but powered by a blend of Chinese ambition and international expertise. The C919 stands as a testament to what can be achieved when global collaboration meets national vision. Yet this reliance on foreign parts also created a significant vulnerability. The C919's success is not just a matter of engineering, but of geopolitics and global supply chains. Any disruption could ground the program or delay its progress. The fate of the C919 became intertwined with the shifting tides of global politics. Trade tensions, export controls, and diplomatic negotiations could all impact the flow of crucial components, making the jet's future uncertain. As the C919 prepared for its maiden flights, a sense of anticipation and anxiety hung in the air. The jet was ready to take off, but turbulence loomed on the horizon, threatening to test every aspect of China's aviation ambitions. The world watched as China's aviation dream faced its greatest challenge yet. 
Would the C919 soar above the clouds or be grounded by forces beyond its control? The next chapter in global aviation was about to unfold. The C919's first flight in 2017 was a moment of national pride, broadcast live across China. It marked China's leap from assembling products to designing complex, high-value technology. The immediate goal dominate China's booming domestic market, the long-term vision challenge Boeing and Airbus worldwide. After years of rigorous testing, the C919 entered commercial service in 2023 with China Eastern Airlines, no longer just a prototype, it was now a real airliner, carrying passengers between major cities. The journey from dream to reality had begun, but the real test was just beginning. As the C919 gained momentum, US-China tensions escalated. Washington imposed export controls, targeting the very Western components the C919 relied on. Engines and avionics now needed special US licenses, threatening production. Swapping out these parts would mean costly redesigns and delays. The strategy that sped up development had become a major weakness. China's aviation ambitions were suddenly at the mercy of foreign policy. The C919 was caught in a geopolitical crosswind. US export controls hit hard, disrupting COMAC's supply chain and slowing production. Chinese airlines, eager for the C919, faced delays and had to adjust their fleet plans. The project's dependency on foreign technology exposed a critical vulnerability. China could build the airframe, but engines and avionics remained out of reach. The C919 became a symbol of both progress and limitation. For China's aviation industry, it was a harsh lesson in global power dynamics. The dream of independence seemed distant. Yet, the setback sparked a new determination. China resolved to chart its own course. Rather than retreat, China doubled down on self-reliance. The government launched a massive push to develop domestic aerospace technology. The centerpiece, the CJ-1000A jet engine, designed to replace Western engines on the C919. Chinese firms are now racing to create homegrown alternatives for avionics, materials and more. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Developing a world-class jet engine can take decades. The CJ-1000A has begun testing, but matching Western performance is a huge challenge. Still, the drive for a fully made-in-China C919 is relentless. The path is steep, but China is determined to walk it. Even with all Chinese parts, the C919 faces another barrier international certification. Without approval from the FAA or ESA, the jet can't fly in most global markets. Gaining this trust is a long, rigorous process, one that Boeing and Airbus have mastered over decades. For COMAC, Building credibility with regulators is a monumental task. So far, the C919 is only certified in China. European and US approval remain distant. Until then, the C919's global ambitions are on hold. The Great Wall of Certification stands tall. For now the C919 is grounded at home. But China's domestic market is a game-changer. Unlike anywhere else in the world, the scale and speed of growth here are simply staggering. Every day, millions of people travel across the country, connecting megacities, business hubs, and remote regions. The demand for air travel is surging, fueled by a rapidly expanding middle class eager to explore, work, and visit family. This isn't just a market, it's a movement, reshaping the very fabric of aviation. With millions of new flyers taking to the skies each year, and thousands of new planes needed to keep up, the C919 enters with a massive home field advantage. China's airlines are under pressure to expand their fleets, and the C919 is perfectly positioned to meet this demand. For COMAC, this means a unique opportunity to supply a hungry market that's eager for homegrown innovation. State-owned airlines, which dominate the skies in China, are lining up to buy the C919. These carriers aren't just customers, they're partners in a national project, supporting the growth of a domestic aerospace industry. For COMAC, this translates into a guaranteed customer base, stable orders, and a chance to refine the jet with real feedback from the field. This captive market gives the C919 a rare advantage, the ability to gain real-world experience at scale. Every flight, every route, and every passenger helps build the jet's credibility and reliability. It's a living laboratory, where lessons learned can be quickly applied to improve performance and safety. Even without global certification, the C919 can thrive at home. China's vast network of airports and airlines provides a proving ground, allowing the jet to rack up flight hours and demonstrate its capabilities to the world. 
Here, success isn't measured by international headlines, but by the trust of millions of Chinese travelers. China is playing the long game, methodically building expertise, accumulating flight hours, and earning trust from both passengers and industry insiders. Every successful flight is a step toward a future where Chinese jets are a common sight in skies around the globe. The C919 may not conquer the world just yet, but it's established a powerful foothold in one of the most important aviation markets on Earth. Its journey is just beginning, and the world is watching. The future of the skies is no longer just a story of two. With China's ambition and the C919's momentum, a new chapter in global aviation is taking flight.